Okay, so today's tool is Rationale. This is really interesting. I haven't gotten into it yet. I'm about to, but basically this helps you make decisions. And there's a couple different ways, more than a couple ways this does this. There's causal chain analysis. So you make a decision and this helps you sort of see the outcomes, um, seen and unforeseen. Contextual analysis, where basically you can create different personas based on yourself or others and inject them into the scenario. Multi-option analysis, this is where you have two unrelated decisions to make, um, such as should I go get an ice, ice cream cone or should I plan a trip to uh, you know Bermuda? Um, two very different decision points, but you can only choose one. That helps you sort of think through that. Cost-benefit analysis, we're sort of familiar with, does a SWOT. And then um, really uh, a number of different permutations. Um, so I'm going to jump into this. Let me sign up and um, I will uh, see where it takes us. Okay, I've signed up and this is the first screen um, that I see. Obviously, we're in a multi-language environment. Um, I am going to choose one of these. Uh, there's tutorials that you can watch, obviously. and um, they may be helpful or not. They might just be click through. We're sort of click through on here. Um, I'm going to think of some scenarios and uh, get back to you. Okay, so I have an idea here. I'm going to do a multi option. Um, let's see, we pull down up here and I will type this in quick. Okay, so I put three options in there. Write about the importance of thinking like an entrepreneur as a law student, which I do write about now and write about the potential of generative AI within the legal profession, obviously part of this video and the newsletter, Brainiacs. And then I added a third one, write about deregulating the legal profession. So I have no idea what's going to happen. Let's see what it does. It's uh, thinking. It's asking me to create a persona uh, if I want to give it context. So I could put in my bio, let it know that I'm a law professor, 20 years um, in legal, was a lawyer was a leader uh, in a law firm, uh, C-suite leader, so on and so forth, could probably get really um, focused on my background there. So it's generated these results. And uh, let me pause. I'm just going to digest these and then get back. Okay. Uh, really interesting. Um, so it's basically said, okay, I need to write about the potential of generative AI within the legal profession. Uh, perhaps it's a bit biased. Uh, but basically, it says, based on the analysis of the options and the context of your backstory, I, I didn't give it one. Um, I'm going to tell you here, it's assuming assuming that I'm a law student who's interested in exploring new ideas and making a positive impact on the legal profession. I'm not sure where it got that from. It probably got those from the choices I outlined. So it's maybe making an assumption there. Um, but basically, it's saying, write about generative AI because it aligns with my values. Um, and talking about deregulating the legal profession might have ethical implications, obviously it does. But then it breaks down uh, the choice and why. So it says it aligns with my values, practicality. Um, funny, it says uh, writing about thinking like an entrepreneur may be less practical. And um, the long-term impact of this decision, again, it's highlighting writing about generative AI followed by deregulating uh, the legal profession. And then the third one, uh, it kind of devalues a bit writing about thinking like an entrepreneur, which is kind of awful, quite honestly, because I write about thinking like an entrepreneur and acting like an entrepreneur. Maybe I should have said that. Be an entrepreneur as a law student, not think like an entrepreneur. Um, and then it details risk and ethical implications. I'm going to try a different version of this and see what we come up with. Okay, so I uh, basically have chosen to do pros and cons. And the prompt I'm putting in there is publish my earnings over the last five years since becoming an agency founder to demonstrate authority and credibility as well as proof of my methods. Um, you may ask why I'd want to do that. It's just a thing in the solopreneur and startup and build in public community right now. Uh, it's not meant to be bragging. It's meant to just demonstrate that you uh, eat your own dog food, so to speak. So it is working and now I'm going to pause. Okay, it's got some really interesting outcomes here. Uh, nothing too, uh, you know, surprising, but some good reminders. Um, 
So I think this is one of those tools you kind of have to use. And I think the context analysis, giving it your persona, would absolutely amplify and make these results much more accurate. So this is rationale.